Hi guys, um, I found something online that I found um, really, really interesting um, regarding the uh, Mandela effect. Um, it was written actually by what she claims to be, um, I believe the name was uh, Stacy Stacy Parr, I think it was. Um, the lady believe oh, sorry, the lady said that she's um, an RN nurse, uh, so she has got like um, a background sort of within the sort of the uh, medical profession. But um, I really thought this was really good. So anyway, let me let me just read what she's uh, put, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read this sort of directly as she um, wrote the comment. <coughs> Excuse me. It's put after four four or five hours a day for about a month straight, I think. I finally have this ME figured out. It is scientific, can be proven in a lab which I do not have access to, and completely logical. I am an RN and went at this from a scientific point of view. This is not to change anyone's point of view, religion, creed, etc. It's just what I've discovered in research. I am aware I'll probably be blasted from people, but that's okay, that's just life. Here goes. Gamma brain waves, beta brain wave, Earth's frequency and the human body frequency. These are all items causing us to notice changes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for example, the Mandela effect. I'm going to try and shorten this as much as possible. In organic chemistry, I learned that the human body has a frequency in every cell, tissue and organ. We are just a big old mass of electrons, protons and neurons. In 1952, Dr. Schumann discovered the Earth has a frequency that also runs at 7.83 Hz. This frequency is called the Schumann Re Resonance. For as long as I, sorry, for as long as we have recorded, the Earth stayed at a frequency of 7.83 Hz, which is also known as OM in Eastern cultures. I wonder if that's OM. Well, in two, sorry, in two, in, sorry again. In uh, 2012, there was a recorded spike in the Earth's frequency to 15 to between 15 and 25 hertz. It was looked at as just an anomaly. Well, just this past January the 31st, 2017, the Earth's frequency went to 36 plus hertz. Now, these frequencies in the Earth are picked up by the human brain beta and gamma waves. When we have a higher frequency, we also perceive a higher consciousness. When we have a higher consciousness, we, are, we, are, we have a higher awareness. This is where the beta and gamma waves kick in. So as our brains are reacting to the Earth's higher frequency, it is also increasing our brain's frequency and wave activity, therefore increasing our awareness. Not all people have similar brain wave activity. Some are at lower frequencies than others, if someone isn't picking up on Earth's higher frequency, then their gamma and beta waves aren't going to recognise it, and therefore to see these changes, or MEs, as we say. <coughs> Excuse me. Take example, my, my doctor friend, Stephanie. She cannot see a single ME, but she had a brain surgery operation done roughly two years ago, and her gamma, wa gamma waves were zapped. Unless the Earth's frequency goes extremely high, she will never pick up any of these MEs, ever. According to everything that I've researched so far, the Earth is travelling through a particular part of the Milky Way now, uh, right at this moment. We, are, we only pass through this like once every 36, between 26 and 36k years. This particular part of the Milky Way causes infre sorry, increased frequency. With this increased frequency, we are able to pick up on parallel universes and different dimensions. What's amazing is this also lines up perfectly with the birds change in chirping patterns. Now this is something I, that has absolutely freaked me out, honest to God. Um, I'm just going to stop reading there, I'll carry on at this, this point. Um, I went to the, to, the, um, to the shop probably about three months ago and it was absolutely pitch black. It was about 3.30 in the morning. Um, I walked to the shop and honest to God, all probably in fact it was probably about half two, three o'clock and the birds were doing a dawn chorus, it was absolutely black and um, I said to people, I've, I've, you know, this it's just freaking me out. Also as well, uh, moving, I moved back up to my mum's house um, 
when after she died recently, like about six months ago, I stayed there for a few months, and um, I noticed the birds were chirping all day long. Now I grew up in this house, and it wasn't like that before. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, birds chirped in the morning, sort of when the sun was coming up, and then in an evening. And you heard the odd one now and again throughout the day, but nothing like recently. So I mean, that's that that sort of kindly uh, that kind of resonated with me. But anyway, back to this. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, what amazing is uh, this also lines up perfectly with the birds change in chirping patterns. Chirping at night, exactly. Their migration pattern changes and with the Mayans awakening starting in 2012. I don't know if there's any, sorry, I don't know if any of this makes sense to you all. I try to explain simply and be as brief as possible. So what do we think about that guys? I mean that's, um, I don't know, I mean that makes a lot of sense to me. Something's changed big time um, and it's something that not everybody's picking up on. I mean, literally people look at you like you're crazy, but I mean, I remember, I, I just remember being, I grew up in a different place, basically. This wasn't the same, it's not the same. You know, things have changed. I mean, so many things have changed. Um, you know, like outside my mum's house, there's literally um, a metal lamppost that, it's kind of almost in the middle of the path where you have to walk. It's, it's, it's you know, not where they usually are. And it, there was no metal lamppost. I went up, this is roughly like after my mum died, um, I went up one day to see my stepdad who was still living there. And um, I said, how long have those been there? I've never, you know, as soon as I pulled up in the car, I said, what, eh, when have they put those there? When are they? Like I'd never noticed them before. And um, when I asked, they said, yeah, they was put in about 12 years ago. Now, all the streets around my mum's road have still got old stone, um, you know, uh, lampposts. I mean, just on this one street, it's really weird. I mean, I never noticed them before, never. So I don't know. There's been other things as well. People's appearances have changed. I mean, um, I, know pe I know people do change, but some people, I mean, um, for an example tonight, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's just me, but Sai Hai the Prince, um, a guy that's a rapper, I've watched um, loads of stuff by him, but he looks so different now. Oh my God, he looks so different. He look, I mean, honest to God, I thought it was a joke. I thought this, you know, was this guy's pretending to be him or something on a, a Vlad interview. I don't know, strange, but yeah, things are changing. Think I'm noticing, honest to God, I mean, people said, you know, you're crazy, this, that, and the other, but I, I know I'm not, and I know. I, thank God there's um, people out there also experiencing this because if literally if I was on my own <clears throat> in this, if I wasn't seeing anything online about any, any ME sort of um, thing, I would literally think I was going crazy, swear down, literally would. And um, I don't know if a lot of you have known this, there's, a, there's a, a book and I forget the name now off the top of my head, but it was actually written by two authors um, one was, I think both possibly are English, but the, the book is, um, and I can find out the name, I'm going to try and put it in the description, try and find it while I'm at this video, but um, it was basically done, it's a, an English book for teaching, um, it was, well, for, for teaching South African children. Now, at the end of the book, there is a little um, sort of like, probably a, probably something I did right, right at the final before the print run or something like that, but it does actually say that um, when Nelson Mandela died, it gives the date of when he died, and it says about the ensuing chaos um, that happened. Now, why would um, you know two people, two authors, get that wrong? And I mean, such a major thing, and then also go at the length of writing, um, you know, like um, a little sort of paragraph explaining what happened in a book that is educating South African children. Now, I don't know. I don't know how you explain that otherwise. I don't know. This is the freakiest thing about it all. It's like, why are there still things left? Why is there residual proof? It's That that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Strange. But anyway, signing off. I uh, just thought I'd sort of bring that because it was quite an interesting one. And I, I, I tried to say this on, um, on somewhere and lost it and then um, managed to find it again. So I thought I'd um, do this video straight away. But anyway, signing out. Thanks for your time like sub all that good stuff hit the bell um appreciate everything thank you thanks a lot take care